What's going on, all my schmexy programmers, and welcome back to my tutorial series on creating a form with PHP. In the last episode, we created this nice little um, editing page for our users to edit their information. So if we look at the browser, you can see we've got Mario, and then he can put his things in here, and then they go to the database, which is pretty cool. However, if we go to the database, um, from the last episode, I wrote a very, very stupid query. And uh, I want you guys to write the nastiest, meanest thing you could ever write in the comments for me. Just to let me know how how bad of a query it was. But, uh, it does this. So if you look, um, all these columns have the same value on every row. And that's, that's not a good thing. Like, could you imagine, you, you've just got, you've got a website, I don't know, like Amazon. And you hire your new query man, and your new query man does that, you... And he changes everyone's Amazon value to over nine thousand dollars. Then you you've got a serious problem on your hands. So yeah, let's go ahead and actually start fixing that query. And first, I just want to get rid of. I don't even know where this little junk came from. Uh, we're just gonna get rid of it though. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and fix this query. And it's super simple. So we're setting all the values equal to whatever. And you can probably see exactly where it, why it's wrong because it's just it's literally st shut up Discord. It's literally just setting the um setting. Sh 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 oh my God! Just no. Just stop it. No. Okay, there we go. Anyway, this query is literally just um setting those things in the call like in every row because we don't tell it what rows to affect. So, if we want to tell something what row is to affect, you know what to do. It's the where tag, or the where, where keyword. So, where. And we're going to just use username. So, where username equals. And then, of course, put inside of quotes. Dollar sign underscore. Session. And, oh, let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. And inside of these bricots, put in your username. And, okay, whatever. So, there you go. That is the query. It should work now. If it doesn't, then uh, I'm probably going to get fired again. But, yeah, let's uh, refresh the page so it'll work. And, yeah, I, I saved, I think, probably. I don't know. So, we're going to do that. And now, we're going to try to put in some values for Mario. So, Mario is 23, I believe. His gender is male, not female. Everyone is female right now. His email is mario at nintendo.com. His bio is, I uh, saved, yeah, whatever that is. Steam is Mr. Mario. There you go. And now that should all be good. So if we just hit the submit button, it should, okay, update update user set age equal to 23, gender equal to Mario, email, the ball, Steam, bio, blah, 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 where username equals Mario. Perfect. And now it should have affected this row in the query, in the database, sorry. So let's go up to the top. This is Mario's row, I believe. Refresh that, and come on, come on, come on, oh my gosh, PHP my admin is slow slightly, and let's see, yes, Mario is male, Mr. Mario, where our username equals Mario, so that query did in fact work just as we intended it to, so we fixed it, and we're still getting fired, but at least, you know, we can leave the office knowing that we fixed it, and now no one's gonna die anymore, so yeah, that's good. Now, I want to begin with this, this table up here. Instead of uh, just having these blank, I want to put some stuff in them. And uh, before I do that, this button here is not even in the what's well, in the table, but it's just at the top because it's um, the way we have this table set up. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take this and just Control Shift G to oh, no, that's Control Shift F. Control Shift G. Come on, get out of here. Okay, Control Shift G. Come on, boom. There we go. And now I want to surround this button. Just inside of a TR, and inside of the TR, I'm going to surround that with a uh, TD. And that should just put the bottom somewhere at the bottom. And uh, let's just, yeah, it should be good. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, come on. Yeah. Come on. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Did it not save? I don't think it saved. Boop. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And it doesn't look the best, but it's not going to look the best ever, because it's never going to, you know, we're not doing a fancy form. But yeah, now let's get into putting some data into these inputs. So, to put something in there, we can use the value. So, value equals fart. 
and we push save, and we go up here. Boom. So fart is in there, even though fart is not a number. We'll deal with that in a bit, too. But yeah. So if you want to put something in these, use the value tag, or the value attribute. So we're going to do that for all of them except for gender, because gender is going to be a select box instead of a, um, a uh, what's it called, a, an input box. So just go ahead and do that, so that we have some room to start putting some stuff in. And we just want to type value, value equals, equals quote quote. And then we want to type in, uh, what is it called, uh, PHP. So PHP, p, p hop, PHP, push tab, and then we can get our PHP. And we just want to echo, and then dollar sign underscore, not session, dollar sign user. And then inside of user, we just want to give it, you know, it's in an associative array. Do we need these quotes? I think we need the quotes, even though, yeah, I think we do. I guess we'll find out if it's an escape string. And uh, we're going to just put in here, we'll start with age. And then we're going to go through. And you just want to put in, uh, what's this one? Email. You want to go through the next one, which is bio. And then the next one, which is steam. There you go. So that is basically all you have to do to put stuff in there. Um, so let's just see if it works. So if we switch over to here, refresh the page again, we can see we get Mario's information right here. So we get Mr. Mario, and that's all pulled straight from the database, which is pretty cool. Now the next thing I want to do is set up gender. So gender, like I said, is not going to be an input. It's going to be a, um, what are these things? I think it's called a select. So I'm just going to get rid of this right here, this input. Uh, just, yeah. Just scrap this entire thing. I'm just going to do TD, and inside the TD is a select. And boom, TD, select, name equals. Um, the name attribute is the exact same thing as these inputs. So we just need to give it a name of gender, so that way we won't change anything. And we don't even need to give it an ID, because we're not going to like use JavaScript or CSS or anything. Right now, anyway. So yeah. Now I'm just going to get rid of this. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to get rid of that. I want to put a line after it. Boom. Actually, just boop. There we go. Okay, and then boop. Okay, now that's properly formatted. So inside the select, select has a few things inside it. And what we want to put in select is an option. So you just type option and push tab, and we can see option. And now the value. It's, it's the exact same thing as the name. So, in every select, there's going to be one thing that's a value, or one thing that's an option. Like, there's always going to be one option selected inside of a select box. And now, value is just what it's called. So, it's like it's reference. It's like it's ID or it's name. So, value for the first one is just going to be male. And then it should probably just have male. And then we're just going to do uh, control shift G, D. And now I'm going to change this one to female. Boom, and I'm going to make this non-capital, so I'm just going to click here. So boom, female, because I don't like to put the names in capitals. And this is just going to be other. And then right here, other, and boom. Oh, stupid freaking text messages from this crazy guy. Okay, now we're just going to save this. Oh, what's that? Nope. And we are going to refresh the page, and it should have a, yep, male, female, or other. I'm going to set this to other, and if we refresh it, we can see uh, gender equals other. If we go to the database and we refresh the database, so let's see, come on, Mario. It will set Mario's gender to other, which means it's working just fine. However, if we refresh the page again, you'll see that it'll stay at male, because we haven't set it to have a default value. So... To do that, it's not just value. We have to do something in all three of these. And if we want one to be selected by default, we'll just use the selected. We just literally have to type that. We don't even need a, uh, anything else. I think you can just write selected in there. And if we refresh, boom, other is selected by default, which is pretty cool. However, we want to make it where it's selected based on who, um, whether or not he that is his value in the database. So to do that, I'm just going to um, control click these here. Boom, boom, boom. And we're just going to put in here um, PHP tab. We're going to say if. Um, and then instead of our condition, we want to check if um, 
dollar sign user and then inside here gender equals I think it's double equals yeah equals and then inside here we're just going to put male and I'll change it in a minute to all the other ones so we're just going to check that and um, if it does this is just like one of those one line ifs we're going to say echo selected so it's just going to echo straight into the HTML and it's not going to be supposed to select it that's just going to echo straight into the HTML that it is selected so now I'm just going to go ahead and change the uh, values of these genders so female and I'm going to change this one to other boom save that and if we refresh here should be oh uh oh unidentified offset zero okay what happened here line 18 what I don't know line 18 where are you well that just happened okay here we go option question PHP if user gender equals okay oh oh yeah that I'm stupid okay I need to take these out of here yeah so control X okay that's an easy fix so put this here paste that and then oops okay easy peasy lemon patizies so I'm just going to copy this one as well or move this one so control X and then paste it I'm sorry about this this is just me being stupid in my natural habitat so if we select this one control X and then control V and now it'll work probably I don't know I guess we'll find out refresh boom okay it works so now I'm gonna set Mario's gender equal to female we refresh and uh, it still didn't work that's that's annoying what did I oh wait a minute save refresh this is awkward yep okay female perfect so it works if I set it to male refresh submit still at female you gotta refresh maybe I, I'm, I can make it header and redirect but it does work it's just a little bit finicky so that is pretty much it for this we have um fixed our query that would get us fired forever um, and destroy everyone's Amazon account we have made it where that the button is nice and just sort of clean this up and we've gone ahead and displayed all the database information on the actual pages and we've created a select for the gender so if you guys have hated this tutorial slap and just like on it tell me exactly what I'm doing wrong in the comments below if you've loved it however go ahead and like the video leave me an awesome comment and uh, till next time you little scrub nugget fox army I will talk to you in the next video bye